Hello, and welcome to Peter Pan Lore and Peter Pan Facts with me, your Peter Pan hobbyist and enthusiast. Using my Peter Pan hobbyist and enthusiast brain and knowledge to bring you fun facts, lore and trivia and talk about the world of the Neverland the story Peter Pan. And wait, I don't have to do my intro at 10 million miles an hour now because we have a YouTube channel. We have a home, we have a thing. I have separated it completely from my cosplay content. As some of you may know, I also have my Amorcus Noise cosplay account, which you have all been following wonderfully on my YouTube channel over there. Please keep following it. That's where all my costumes will be. However, all my Peter Pan content is coming over here. All the videos I previously made on that channel will be staying there. I may be updating some of the videos and redoing them over here. I may cross post that kind of thing, but don't worry. The ones that are already there will stay there but the new ones will be coming over here as well. So, exciting times! And what are we gonna talk about for this first video on the channel? Well, I am going to keep it simple for this first one. I am gonna let you guys decide in the comments what you'd like me to do for my next videos. I have promised to do ranking videos where I talk about the movies, the costumes, the characters, different actors, different versions, that kind of thing. And I can also do lore dives and essays and ideas and all that kind of stuff. So all those wonderful things I will still do. Throw me any suggestions you have in the comments down below. However, this first video is going to be a very short, very sweet, and very simple one. I am going to talk you through my journey. The other week now, <laughs> I was going to say the other day, nope, the other week, I got to go to the other side of London and I got to go to a place I don't get to visit very often, which is Kensington Gardens. And from there, the journey just continued. The thing is that I ended up having a lot more time on my hands that day than I initially planned for and realized. And so what was at first just going to be a very quick visit to see the Peter Pan statue in Kensington Gardens actually morphed into a Peter Pan tour. And so come with me on this crazy, chaotic and wonderfully magical and whimsical journey of a Peter Pan enthusiast doing a Peter Pan tour through London. Let's go. So my first step was Kensington Gardens, one of my favourite places in London. It is so beautiful and it's so good to walk around. There are so many different places. You can do Hyde Park, you can go up to the palace all the way at the other end, and there is the Peter Pan statue. Now, this is the first port on our journey because the statue is placed where J.M. Barry says Peter Pan landed in Kensington Gardens when he had flown out of his nursery window. So we land with him at the statue. From there, the Peter Pan tour began and we go through Kensington Gardens and eventually I made my way down to the Bird's Island. And this is the island where Peter Pan will have lived and he will have learned how to play his pipes and he will have learned all the different customs and ways of the birds. He learned how to build a nest and eventually some other birds helped him to build a watertight nest so he could sail across the lake and go back to Kensington Gardens and he'd go and visit the fairies. He could see Mamie the child. He could go visit the graves of other children and see all the things that happened after lockout time. Very beautiful, beautiful place. I sat and watched the birds around here for a good hour and a half. It's a really, really magical place, even if you don't know the history that Peter Pan has attached to it. From there, after spending a couple of hours looking at the birds and really enjoying Kensington Gardens, I thought my journey might be over. But then I started thinking about J.M. Barry's house and how when he was living in London, he lived quite close to Kensington Gardens and uh, I could go visit his house, right? So I took a little wander and I found it. I found number 100 Bayswater Road, and that is the house where J.M. Barry lived while he was in London and writing the play of Peter Pan. And obviously you can't go in, it is someone's house now, I think. And there's a little blue plaque, which I managed to get a very blurry picture of because I had to stand quite far back because there were lots of trees in the way. These people probably know whose house it used to be and they don't want to get loads of photos and things. So I'll show you my picture of the plaque and if I can find a better picture of the plaque from the internet, I think the National Heritage or the Trust site probably has a picture. I'll show you that as well. So that was my next stop. And then I took it an extra step further and I went, well, I've seen where Peter Pan landed. I've seen the birds in Kensington Gardens. I've seen where the author lived. What, what what else could I do on this Peter Pan tour? Oh, I know. I could go and visit the first theatre where the first ever play of Peter Pan was put on. 
So I did! So I found my way to the Duke of York's theatre and I stood outside staring at it. Couldn't go in because there was people going in for a different show at the time but I took some pictures and just realised that over a hundred years ago the first 1904 stage play of Peter Pan took place there. And it felt pretty magical, to be honest. And that really concluded my tour for the day. I did go around some bookshops and I did buy some more Peter Pan books. And there was one that was very old and very beautiful, but it was completely out of my price range budget right now. So I had to walk away. But please be proud of me. I did walk away. I did not make the foolish decision and purchase the book. I left. That is it. That is my Peter Pan tour of London. We started in Kensington Gardens. I saw the Peter Pan statue again. I saw the Bird's Island again. Spent a long time just enjoying Kensington Gardens and walking around the place where the author and the children he knew and this story really came to life and where they will have been. And then I went to see the author's residence and then I finished off by going to the Duke of York's theatre. So that is just a very quick first intro hi video on this channel to let you guys know that I am here now doing Peter Pan lore and Peter Pan facts. So as I said before, if there's anything you would like me to talk about, do a ranking video, etc, etc. I've got loads of ideas already written down, but if you want anything specific, chuck me those ideas down in the comments below. All right, have a wonderful day, all of you. And yeah, welcome to Peter Pan lore and Peter Pan facts here on YouTube. Bye.